Friends, um, in this session, we will discuss the difference between uh, an action and uh, a workflow in Dynamics 365. Uh, this, is a, this is a very easy thing uh, to be confused, uh, the difference between workflow and, uh, you know, uh, um, actions. So uh, let's discuss the differences, uh, first going through the solution and let, let's create uh, one action and uh, workflow side by side to understand the differences easily go to settings and go to customization and uh, customize the system click the first option and in this is the default solution where we can uh, com uh, we can you know con combine all the different types of customizations uh, uh, in the dynamic 365 so here we will discuss the differences so let the solution load completely then we'll start so in this solution go to the processes link in this processes the system will allow us to create you know uh, new processes uh, here you will find a new button, add new button. This is the button where you can create a new process of type actions or uh, workflows or dialogues or the business process flow, whatever you want. So click new and here you will find to give a process name. Let's say this is a action test and select a category called as action and select an entity. So here you will see when you select a category as action, you will find an extra option called as non or global in entity uh, drop down. What does it mean? It means you can create an action in the system is which is not specific to any entity. Rather, it can be called from any entity. That's why there is the option available called as non. So you can define an action, custom action process, which is not specific to any specific entity by selecting this non option. That means it will run, it can run from any entity available in the system. Now, just cancel this for the time being. Create a new process and select the workflow give a name called as workflow and select the category as workflow then here in the entity list you will not find that global option global or non option here so it is clear in this concept that action and workflow is differentiated because of the entity set available here you can define an action for a global entity that means from any entity you can call a specific action but workflow is mandatorily specific to an to a specific entity that is the first difference next difference workflows to trigger a workflow so actions cannot be you know let's go to create an action okay select uh, the entity as known and click OK. So in action, what happens? You cannot run an action independently by the user. Rather, it can be called as a step in any workflows or dialogues or you know uh, in um, plugins, whatever you want to call. So here, you will not find any option to run it as on demand or uh, to run it through some process. So this action only accepts some arguments, input arguments and some output arguments and some steps, okay? But in workflow, if you create a new process of type workflow, and select, you will select an entity then here the workflow provides a way to select how you want to run it.
by selecting this options